Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni for BVU Gaming, and today we're gonna check out the demo for Hazel Sky. So, this is an action adventure with some platforming elements, and it takes place both on the ground, in the water, and in the sky. Yeah, we're gonna be able to fly aeroplanes in this one, so that is pretty cool. And uh, it looks like there's some kind of gallery. I don't know if it's collectibles or maybe that you can take pictures in the game or something. I don't know. But let's just get going here. Ooh, this is pretty. I love the seahorses. Aha, even prettier. Ciara, the island used by the Casey family for generations. Around 20 miles of tropical vegetation, sand, and family member corpses. Many have failed the trial or just decided not to leave this place. Today is the day that Flynn Casey, using his extravagant gloves, takes his son Shane to this same trial. As tradition demands, the young boy needs to go back to Gideon, the city floating in the sky on the horizon. Completing this task will determine whether he becomes an engineer. Shane's father is the right arm of the current 23rd engineer, the highest rank in the city and sees the necessity of new engineers since their number has dwindled and a revolution is brewing. Artists, beggars, hand workers, they are all whispering in the dark. And with each day, a new rumor arrives. A new lie is told. And the engineer's strong grip on the city becomes weaker. They will lose control of Gideon the same day a great storm will hit this island on the 24th of April, 1915, today. Ooh, well that was a while ago. Oh, and I love the little detail with the bird, or that landed on the lantern. I don't know, it just adds something extra in the game with details like that. Mm-hmm. Shane. You cold? Oh, it's a blindfold, of course. Yeah. I think. Because he, he wouldn't want us to know where we're going or how to get away from there. I think, yeah, now we're moving. Haha. -ha. Hold my hand, Shane. Ooh, and I like the audio. I can actually hear that. The father is walking on my left on the left side at the moment. And then he walks in front of us to open a door. Now. That's a really nice detail as well. Now you're on your own. <coughs> Take care, son. Ooh, that didn't sound good with that cough though. Looky, looky. Okay. Got the one hat. Welcome to the Gideon Engineering Trials. Proceed to the something for further instructions. Arrow pointing up. Okay, well, we have some stairs over there. And don't forget to pick up your stapler. Ah. Okay, so we can examine it. You used to fix machine parts, the number one tool of every engineer. We can rotate it. Oh, this is cool. You can probably do this with most items you, that you pick up, or maybe even all items. And then you can even zoom even further. Very nice. And I guess Wait. we get to keep it. Yeah, because it sounds like a very critical piece of equipment. Okay, so let's look around a little bit. Of course, we can't do anything with the door, right? Ooh. Let's see. The calling, unexplained occurrences that defy the first logic by Uriah Bress. Okay, so we can read it. The calling, every event described in this book took place in the city of Gideon during the obscure times reign with the 13th engineer in power. In authoring this book, my focus was not on trying to convince you about those events, but on speaking to the meaning they carry as a whole with regard to the health of the city and the people who live here. Some may call the following text myths or folk tales, but if you ask the majority of people who lived through the era of the 13th engineer, 
They will not only confirm those events, but indeed they act like those effects are common knowledge to every person, from the most disgusting artist to the most brilliant engineer of the time. This makes me ask the important question, why have our parents and grandparents stopped talking about those events? Are they no longer occurring? Witness Marcus Monaghan told us that a strong rumor started to circulate that we should not tell our kids about those events which are not explainable by first logic and that the lovers of those events and always the beneficiary in those stories were artists, those who hate logic and common sense, those who love lust and the most unthinkable behavior, the trigger for some people of the escalating number of unexplained events that are taking place in the, is the erratic and eccentric behavior of the city's new leader, the 23rd engineer that has taken office, Devlin Donnelly, also known as Devil Devlin, sounds like he's not so popular, the grandson of the 13th engineer. This book just projects what the future may hold for the city of Gideon. Read it at your own risk. This book will probably be confiscated and censored by city officials, but this will neither instigate nor delay those strange occurrences. Ooh, and then I did notice it said open. Ooh, so there's even more text in here. Not too much, but I'm just going to skip on that for the sake of this um of this video. I'm not sure you guys can even read it because it's kind of a little bit faded, so it might be too dark on the video or too hard to read. But I actually like uh, that there's stuff like that. Okay, so don't get to keep it though. Um, so I don't know if any of that is important for the gameplay in the story or if it has clues or anything. It might just add history or lore to the, to the game, right? And I just wanted to see. Okay, we have a gallery. Ooh, okay, yeah, so the calling, and we can read what it said on the outside, but we can't actually, no, we can't actually read what is on the inside. Okay, we can collect notes as well. Aha, so maybe this is only the important part. Hmm, okay, well, I like stuff like that, but for this, I'm just going to kind of skip over some of all this reading. Okay, so we have another one here where it says, okay, the dawn volume one, first, the first engineer through iron and steam learn about the creation of the most glorious and dignified location in the whole world. This book contains the full story from the foundation of the city of Gideon by the first engineer to the peril he faced when first logic defiance tried to stop the launch of the first city into the sky. This book is also a guide to the relationship between Gideon and its four sister cities. And then, of course, this one, there's stuff we can read as well. Uh -huh, so we have two pages. Okay, so let's skip that. Here we go for now. And let's see, we have some kind of box which we can't access right now. The map is missing the Florida Bay. Ooh, okay. The city of Gideon. High Engineer Council Chambers. Oh, there's an airfield there as well. Hmm. Okay. Hey, buddy. Now it begins. Your granddad was the first one on this island, and after that, each member of our family has gone to her. I remember when your grandpa told me that your uncle Rove would be back in less than a day. He didn't. Or he wasn't, I guess. In fact, you already know the story of what happened to your uncle. The madness of our curse will chase you while you're in there, but if you don't succumb to it, you may arrive at the other side an engineer. Son, you never asked why we do this, but now you can uncover whatever you wish. Here's where we find out who we truly are. You never doubted a word I said to you, but while you prove yourself a capable engineer, I beg you to doubt all that you encounter. This may be the most important trait an engineer can have. So, I asked you, do you have it? Flynn Casey, April 24th, 1915. Okay, so he pretty much wrote this today and left it for us. Uh, there we go. Okay, we can't keep that either, but I suspect it is now in here. So, we, yeah, it's one of the notes. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, I love the little aeroplane there. Very nice. What is this? Ooh, some kind of a key. 
lovely this seems really old okay and we can even zoom of course and then we can put it away i wonder if it works for this over here let's go and check ah it does okay so oh you actually have to move your mouse in a circle to open this <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh, gideon engineering this used to be given to citizens that denounced any art or artists in the city. I remember seeing someone get arrested in the main square because of that. Ooh. Okay, we get to keep that as well. And it has like a little icon. So does that go in here as well? Oh, it does. Look at that. This even oh, I love it. Oh, there's lots of collectibles. Okay, so there's even keys. There's engineer kit. There is collectibles, there's the notes, and of course the books. There's even more stuff. Go down here. Oh, and there's even objects. Oh, there's a lot of stuff we can collect. Oh, nice. I like the game even more now. Yep, yep, yep. I like stuff like that. You know, guys, I, lo I love hoarding, so collectibles is great. Okay, well, I think it's time to try and go up. Uh, okay, so space. Oh, space and. <laughs> okay, this is a little hard to get used to these controls. Come on, hold and grip. Yep, there we go. Okay, and then further up. Nice. Mm -hmm. So it has a little bit of a Tomb Raider feel when it comes to the platforming. Uh huh. Can I do anything with you? No. Hear thy call and end your suffering all through the right way of thinking you may then concede in eternal loyalty to return home Ooh, interesting is there anything else up here oh what is this okay we have uh, some matches these are the same ones we have in the city okay we didn't get to keep those what about you uh -huh. can of beans i know the district where this was made Okay, well, in the actual game, you might actually get to keep those things. It would kind of make sense. You need some food, right? Okay, so... Uh -huh, we can rotate it. Oh, okay. So, left click. Oh. Nice. Okay, so left click and then you can zoom. Mm-hmm. Okay, I wonder what that is up there with the red square. And we to unequip. Okay, so we can equip it with V again. Yes, if we need to. Weird. Okay. Uh, things to come. G, B, M, C, A, A, M, D. Uh huh. Uh, oh, okay. This one we can take. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So you probably have to remember, um, remember what it said on the note. But since it's called things to come, I have a sneaking suspicion it doesn't really do anything in this. So G B C A M A D G B C A D. I'm so gonna forget that. Um. E, B, C, A, D. I don't think it does anything here, but... Um, e, B, D, A, D. Oh, that was correct! Oh, nice! Oh, I like that. That is cool. I didn't actually think it was anything. Okay. In the demo, but... Oh, so maybe there's going to be like more melodies we can play in the game. Did that get saved as well? Notes. Collectibles. Dry glass. Mm, stapler. Objects. Can of beans. Matches. Okay, it just kind of shows us that we actually found them, but we didn't get to keep them. Ah. Oh, but I'm liking the details in this now. Oh, okay. Hold to grip. Can I go through it? 
Oh, okay, I have to... Aha, uh -huh, I have to break it. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. Myra here. We've been silent long enough. They don't know what's coming to them. They can spit in our faces now, but we will get everything back to them. It's going to be soon. If you want to help us and fight back the repression, meet us at the statue tomorrow at noon. Join us. We will not be quiet for much longer. Red paint will wash the streets soon enough. Ooh, that sounds ominous. Okay, so we have something about the eye up here. Need to follow the blueprint. Ah, aha, uh -huh. so then we can read it like this or we can read it like this. Uh, the first task is to fix the glider GTS 5033 and fly to Sierra using it. So we need wood, cloth and coal. Fix the hole on the back of the glider using wood. Cover the biggest tear on the left wing using cloth. Insert coal in the launcher and proceed to the island. That's Ooh. easy. Oh nice, I got to keep it. That's a good thing. Um, hmm. Do we have a cigar? I remember someone smoking one at home when I was really young. He had red hair, but when I asked dad about this, he says he was a friend of mom and we shouldn't talk about it. He has red hair just like me. Ah, wonder what the story is there. Okay, so we have a box. Ooh, that looks familiar with those. Yeah, so can I like grab you? I can. There we go. And then see if I can figure this grabbing thing up. There we go. Okay, so if you just hold down left click and then just space to jump, then you can easily move around. I don't know exactly how we're supposed to get down. Just let go. Okay, I don't know if there is one where you can kind of jump down to the next one, but maybe we just needed to... Uh, get back again potentially uh, Okay, so oh I have to actually <laughs> Ooh, Come on come on. Yep Okay, so I think <gasps> Oops <laughs> There is something in there um... Oh, oh that looks Maybe like cloth somewhere Oh, okay, so I have to, yeah, so I have to keep holding it to actually carry it. Interesting. Hmm, well, let's try and continue up and see. Oh, looky, looky, looky. I love it, I love it. Uh, okay, I think that was, that must be over here, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so. Ah, I have to hold down the left. Yeah, there we go, and then let go, and then... Huh? Boom! Easy. <laughs> nice! Uh, That's Paul. Who's Paul? Uh-huh. Uh, so there was some scratch text, of course. I don't want you to waste who you are like I did. Do what you want, Jane. Your dad and mine and everyone in that town will tell you what you should do all the way up until you die a dumb death like mine. You'll be completely forgotten by everyone if you keep doing this. The woman is closer now. Don't go back to Gideon if you don't want to. Your cousin, Paul. Ew, okay. I won't mess this up, Paul. Huh. Wonder what he died from. Maybe he... I can't really... Okay, the, oh, he had a nail in his boot, I think. But was that enough to, for him to die from it? Interesting. Maybe he just kind of gave up. Oh, here we go. Got some wood. Do that. Probably need to go there. Oh, awesome. And then we have some stuff in here. Oh yes, here we go. Mm hmm. Need to use this somewhere. Done. Awesome. That's it. Done. Oh, I love it. Is there anything else here? 
Uh, doesn't look like there's anything on the roof or anything. Oh, well. Oh, this is going to go bad. <laughs> Me and flying. Don't think that's going to work. Okay, so... How do you actually... Oh, okay. Oh, you have to just pull down, like press S and then you fly. Oh, hazel sky. Look at that. Oh, nice. Okay, I think this is probably the end of the demo. But this is cool. And then you can probably land and explore this island here. And I know that you can go swimming and stuff as well. Oh, that's not good. That is terrible. <laughs> demo completed. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Okay, well, this looks really, really intriguing, guys. Um, so uh, that's definitely another one that's staying on my wish list. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, do take care and happy gaming.